Uh, got another super chat. This one is from Joe Rockhead J. Thank you for the super chat, Joe Rockhead J. Greatly appreciate you, Joe Rockhead writes. Hey, bro, happy, very belated. The talent is on the rise, but the coaching will be the biggest difference. I think you are absolutely right. Um, it, you know, there were teams in the past that weren't that talented, but had they been coached better, I think there would have been better results. You know, I, I think back to the 8-7 in one year back in 2016, uh, where we should have made the playoffs. And, and you know, if, if D-Hop makes a couple of kicks that season, most notably the one over in London, that was the backbreaker versus the Bengals. But, um, you know, had, had we beat the Lions, you know, that year that Kirk runs the, the bootleg, the, the read option for a touchdown late to give us a, a lead, and then the defense gives it up to Stafford in like less than 40 seconds as they score a touchdown and beat us. Um, that was a, a season that, you know, with better coaching, Maybe you win that. Uh, that I mean, maybe you made the playoffs that year. Maybe you're you're nine and seven instead of eight seven or nine and uh, or uh, nine and seven and one. Or maybe you're you're ten and six instead of eight seven and one and missing the postseason. Um, the following year, uh, we were a solid team. You know, injuries decimated us, but at the end of the day. I, I, like you, believe that coaching is going to be the biggest difference. That's why um, my number two had Jack Del Rio included because, you know, and that's why I was so anxious to hear from these coaches. And we're going to get to coach speak here in a bit. But um, I think the coaching staff is going to be huge. I think there have been a lot of guys undeveloped, a lot of talented guys that haven't really produced at the level they're capable of because coaching is so pivotal in, in, in this sport, more so than any other sport, you know, in baseball, you know, you may, once you get to the majors, you may tweak a thing here or there. You may get into a little bit of a funk and maybe your hitting coach can help you get out of it. They may sit you down and watch a little bit of film with you, show you what you're doing. Maybe the, the front side is flying open a little too soon. You're a little too anxious. You may, maybe you need to be a little bit more patient with your back leg, a little tweaks here and there, but you, you play baseball, you play baseball, you know, basketball. I mean, look, if you make it to the NBA and you're playing ball, like it's not much coaches are going to be able to, 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 you know, teach you. You're, you're who you are. You're going to work on your game in the off season, you know, but they're not really going to help you. Coaching is the most pivotal in football because as I mentioned, fit is everything. And when these guys come from the college ranks, they need to be developed. You're not getting a finished product. Like in the NBA, a lot of times, a guy's body may not be developed and you may ultimately not be getting a finished product. Like he may develop a better jumper and, and, you know, like a Ben Simmons, for instance, like he needs to develop a better jumper or Giannis uh, Tentacumpo. Uh, he came in the league. He couldn't shoot. He's now shooting threes. Like you're going to develop those things on your own with your work habits in the off season. You're going to get better. However, in the NFL, you come into the league and you're like a slab of clay. You need the to, and there, there are certain guys that come in and they're ready to go right out of the packaging. But more guys than, than not come in and need work. They need work on the fundamentals. They need to be shown how to do it the right way. And scheme sometimes is massive for a lot of these players. And if you're not coaching them up right, you're not going to get the most out of these players. You know, there's a reason that some of, the, the best pass rushers over the last, you know, 15 years or so, they, they had some of their most productive years under Jack Del Rio. Like, and I'm not saying that he's directly responsible for that, but it's, it's not a coincidence that, you, you know, Romeo Cornell goes somewhere and the defense gets better. It's not a coincidence that Jack Del Rio goes somewhere and the defense gets better. It's not a coincidence that Wade Phillips shows somewhere, up somewhere and the defense gets better. These guys know what they're doing. And the same thing for these positional coaches. They're just as important as the coordinators. These are the guys that are in these meetings that are helping these guys or watching film with these guys or teaching these guys at a very, very intimate level. More so than the head coach who's overseeing everything. More so than the coordinators who are an extension of the head coach and overseeing the entire defense or the entire offense. These guys are in meetings with just these eight players or just these five players and they're, they've got their hands on them. So it's important. 
that your offensive line coach is very good. To me, of all your position coaches, your offensive line coach probably needs to be the best of that group. Your wide receivers coach needs to be good. Your defensive backs coach needs to be able to teach, you know? So I think coaching is going to be massive, as you brought up, Joe Rockhead, Jay. I really believe that, you know, the, the talent is on the rise. We're not where we want to be, as you mentioned. But coaching is going to take the talent that we already do have, and they're going to make them really special. And that's what I'm excited to see. And so uh, I agree with you there. Thank you for the super chat, Joe Rockhead J. Louis T. Network.